Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosso here. For today's video, I want to show um, a useful feature in Google Calendar, particularly if you're working in something like logistics or the few fields that um, really rely on uh, knowing both local time and universal coordinated time, uh, typically abbreviated as UTC. So there's a couple of features in uh, Google Calendar that are really useful and a lot of people, um, it's e very easy to look over them. The first is this nice world time zone calendar. You can see I've set up my uh, time zones here. Um, and that's actually one way to add uh, UTC to your calendar. So if you're working remotely with colleagues in specific time zones, it's a very easy way for you to know your local time um as well as uh, the time in your key time zones around the world and google has these little icons that help you see whether it's daytime or nighttime in them um another thing you can do with with google and this is where i'm going to show the um ability to add utc along your calendar is to display a secondary time zone so you just need to click on this display secondary time zone um option now israel time is my primary time zone <clears throat> and i'm going to add utc or zulu as my uh, second time zone. So then we just need to go into second time zone. And if you go, uh, it's GT, GMT plus zero. And you have here coordinated universal time, CUT, same thing as uh, Zulu time or um, UTC. Um, and then all we need to do is save and that setting is going to hold. Okay, so just uh, save that there. And now you can see that I have IST standing for Israel time and UTC standing for Zulu time. So wherever I am in the day, morning, afternoon, evening, I can quickly glance across to see I'm seven, uh, about 7.30, 7.40 here local time. And that is 16.40 approximately in Zulu. Uh, so I hope that's useful to you if you use universal time, uh, Zulu time in your day-to-day -day work and you want to have an easy to access, you can either add it to the little uh, world time zone widget or you can add this as a secondary time zone in your Google Calendar. Thank you guys for watching this video and more videos are coming soon.